Hi guys. Wish you a very 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 happy new year. I hope you all enjoyed the holiday season and I also hope you guys have a wonderful year ahead and achieve all your goals for the year. I'm so excited to start new projects and have set so many goals for myself, personal as well as business and art related goals, which I'll talk about in another video that I plan on making soon after I'm done with this series. My aim was to be done with this series in December, but certain things came up which i couldn't really ignore they had to be taken care of first so yeah i apologize for the delay so let's just quickly get into today's topic of discussion which is depends but before i begin I would like to know whether you guys like seeing real time footage in between the sped up clips. I added them for you to see how beautifully the ink reacts with water. I really love how it flows and spreads, giving such a cool effect. Now getting back to the depends, I've had such a weird relationship with depends. I'm using them after three years. The last time I used them was back when I was in my second year in college during my calligraphy exam. So. We had to use Crookville nibs to write a para in copper plate. If you don't know what copper plate is, it's basically a writing style in calligraphy. Just google it, it's beautiful. So I already struggled a lot with my assignment and to get a decent looking page written in copper plate, I wasted like 30 to 40 pages trying to get it right and getting it right wasn't even the difficult part it was trying to keep the paper clean and not accidentally spilling the ink anywhere on the paper every time i was halfway through the assignment a drop would fall out of nowhere it was it was really frustrating to use that particular nib to write because no matter how slow and careful you were with the nib, there was a blob of things somewhere to do in the style. Either it was somewhere on the paper or while writing on a certain letter. And I was a perfectionist. So even a tiny blob would frustrate me to the core and I would start all over again. So even during the exam, the first few lines came out perfectly fine on the final sheet, but I don't know what happened halfway through. The nib kept on ruining the letters and that was so many times. It was really messy. It kept on smudging, spelling everywhere. It was annoying and really frustrating. So after the exam, <laughs> this friend of mine who's really good with calligraphy, especially copper plate, since she had years of learning experience and had been to a calligraphy school before getting into the college, she comes up and asks me, and this other friend of ours who like me is inexperienced and struggles the same way I do with copper plate how our exam was really casually 
with a smile and I remember exchanging this look with the other friend our eyes were numb and we were almost about to cry we were that miserable <laughs> it was it was funny and annoying at the same time <laughs> and that my friends <laughs> was the time i decided to ditch crookwell nymphs once and for all and thankfully i didn't even have to do anything to avoid using them because later that year we had to choose our subjects for the coming year and i decided to major in illustration so automatically i was blessed and never had to deal with cop plate ever again actually i said it wrong i never had to deal with those nymphs ever again because cop plate wasn't even the main problem the issue was with those nymphs so fast forward to last year i decided to still give the pens a try as i was experimenting and i wanted to get out of my comfort zone and i was playing safe with fine liners for the first few days so i went ahead and purchased this nib set which i'll try to link below and i agree the first few strokes were not that great since i was hesitant at first but gradually they improved and i actually started enjoying it so 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 much i literally fell in love with the experience and with the pens we patched up <laughs> after 3 long years we patched up maybe the experience was so much better because i hadn't tried using them to draw before it was just for calligraphy so i really want to encourage you to try out new tools and mediums i get that we are used to working with specific tools and mediums but unless you experiment and try something new and different which is out of your comfort zone you'll be missing out a lot on so many things and so many new experiences maybe you'll find some tools which you end up enjoying even more than the ones you are accustomed to using So don't hesitate to try something new or even something with which you've had a bad experience before in the past because things change with time So yeah that's it for today I hope this video was helpful. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.